Hello guys, yesterday was the day after I recorded the whole like nine day section of like these types of vlogs because I lost a bunch of footage. Today in this video, I just wanted to talk about yesterday and today. So yesterday I pretty much just spent the day looking for like keywords and just going through a bunch of different data points. I collected about 3000 different keyword ideas that I'm sorting through in Excel, trying to find the best video topics that would perform the best and that are the most useful to you guys. Yeah, that took a couple of hours to go through and sort and just get rid of like all of the trash keywords that have nothing to do with me and remove any sort of duplicates, anything like that. So I did that for everything from Walmart Spark, Instacart, gig work, gig apps, YouTube, all sorts of things, um, like all different terms that I could think of just because the data is there. So I might as well like pull it now. So that way I can cancel the subscription that I got for vidIQ. That's just how I found all of the, in the information. I've done this in the past. That's how I got a lot of the video ideas in the past that have worked well. So it just kind of helps that way. I have a huge list of questions that people put in my comments that I need to go through and answer. I'm thinking about starting to make like YouTube shorts, making TikToks maybe making Instagram reels about, um, because all three of those I think could all be made from the same piece of content. So I'm thinking about making those for like the questions that could be answered in like a minute or two. I could just make like a short and post it on YouTube, post it on TikTok, post it on Instagram. That way I can get those questions answered because currently like the only thing that I was thinking that I could do is like put like maybe 10 of those together in a video and answer a bunch of questions that way, but that's not gonna rank very well. It's not gonna get the information to the people that need the information. So I think that this is a better idea. This would probably be a better solution to just getting that kind of information out to people that are looking for an answer to their questions. So yesterday was kind of just planning all of that, making um, like a huge list in my topics. I have like a software that I use that houses all of my video ideas and like what stage they're in. So that way I can just keep track of everything and like add in any files or anything that I need for the videos and keep track of like how long it takes to make the videos, all sorts of things like that. So yesterday was just kind of taking all those questions, putting them into that manager software. Outside of that, nothing really too much happened. Took more of like a relaxing day just because the previous day I recorded for almost an hour and then started editing. So that kind of took a lot out of me. And then, yeah, so yesterday was just more relaxed and got done pretty early and the rest of the night cooking food and cleaning the apartment, all of the things that like needed to be done. Today was another one of those days where I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and didn't get back to sleep until I think five or six or maybe even later. I think it might've been like seven. But yeah, and then I went back to bed, slept for a couple more hours, got up, got straight into editing those videos the, the vlog videos that I recorded on the 30th. I wanted to have at least one of them finished yesterday and I still haven't even finished one today. I just recorded a, another video before I, I'm recording this video. So that video will come out tomorrow. I'm gonna edit that up real quick and then I'm gonna edit these vlog videos. That way everything's kind of all caught up and I do have like the typical video that I have on a Sunday which is about gig work. Uh, this video is about how to sign up for Walmart Spark in Canada. That was a question that keeps on popping up. So I wanted to get that answered and like like anybody that's Canadian, because I know that there are Canadians that watch my videos, it'll be a really quick video and I think it'll be pretty helpful to a lot of people. I've been working on getting another video ready. So I spent a lot of time up in Banff, Canada, and I see that there's not really any hotel reviews about up there, but there's tons of different hotels up there. It's like a really expensive place. I did see somebody that made a video about the really expensive hotel there that costs like $900 a night. They made a video about that and they don't have like a lot of subscribers and they got like over a million views. I'll have to find it again, but it performed really well. I've done some research into Banff and it looks like there's a lot of people searching for like hotel reviews and stuff there. I just looked it up. This person made a, so it's a 16 minute long video. It's got one point 9 million views over the last eight months and it's about staying in the Fairmont Banff Springs hotel um, it's like the most expensive hotel there oh yeah so since they published that video they've been getting anywhere from 3,000 to 13,000 subscribers a month because that video performed so well and had almost 2 million views on it that they've gotten tons of subscribers just from that one video yeah so they spent 
like $900 at the hotel and they made anywhere from, I would say it's upwards of like $5,000, probably closer to $10,000 just based off the, the number of views. Because that's 2 million, uh, which is, so it's 2,000 times whatever their RPM is. Which, let's say that their RPM on it, like my RPM is usually somewhere around 15 to 25. Let's say, just for example, that theirs is only 10. They would have made $10,000 off of that video. Well, anyways, so yeah, that's just something that I want to get done. I really want to have more than four videos every single week come out. I'm going to go get some dinner and some takeout in a little bit so I can throw up some pictures of that. I'm thinking about getting some Mediterranean food. I don't really eat American food. I'm always eating, like, I eat a lot of Asian food and not too big into, like, fried foods, anything like that. I'm more of, like, a sushi and vegetables type of person. Because I, I like seeing what people eat when I watch YouTube videos, so maybe some of you guys will too. Good morning, guys, or I guess afternoon. It's a little bit past noon here. I'm on my way to Home Depot. I just went to Walmart, got a torque wrench and a couple of like sealants, like Loctite and some other stuff. And then I went to AutoZone, tried to get some copper anti-seize, but they don't have it. Um, so I just got some ceramic anti-seize. Now I'm going to Home Depot real quick. I have to get a rubber mallet because one of my tires my front right tire that one doesn't want to come off when i take like all the lug nuts off and stuff so i need to be able to smack it with a, a mallet or something or a hammer so i'm getting a rubber one so i don't break my rim but gonna need that to get the tire off there's so much traffic right now oh it's lowe's it's not even home depot okay whatever yeah going I guess to Lowe's, and then I'm going to go home, going to take off my, hopefully at least my first two tires, maybe all four, um, but going to replace my brakes and my rotors if my rotors need to be changed. I have some calipers so I can check the thickness of the rotors, but I, I believe that at least my front rotors need to be changed because they sound a little bit rough, and I just want to take a look at them anyways and see how they're doing. So yeah, I'm pulling into Lowe's right now. So I'll let you know when I get back and then I'll go home and start to work on this. All right, got the mallet, got the brake pads, got the rotors, got the antices, the thread, tight silicone sealant for the caliper. I got brake clean, I got gloves. So yeah, all that's left is to go home, crack a beer, and set up the other camera so that way I can record this all. It's gonna be warm today. Um, it was supposed to be warm on Wednesday, but today is Monday, so it's actually, it's 59 degrees right now. It said that it was supposed to get up to 57, so really excited that it's warmer than that. I'm, I'm like sweating in the sweatshirt. It's gonna be much better to do today. So I'll, I'll have today, tomorrow, and Wednesday to be able to get this all done. I just finished up the vlog that's going to go out this morning on December 4th. Uh, that one's like day 6 through 10 of being self-employed. Tomorrow will be days 11 through 15 of being self-employed. Um, today is day, I think, 19. Everything's pretty much going really smoothly. Oh, I have a dash cam coming in the mail found a really cheap dash cam it was only 25 bucks and it had a lot of good reviews so can't wait for that so that way I can start showing you guys how crazy people freaking drive here in Denver I'm thinking maybe like an hour to do maybe two brakes and two rotors uh, depending on how well the freaking torque wrench works oh my god I think I should have got a breaker bar oh shit do I need a breaker bar I might. I don't know if a torque wrench works as a breaker bar. I need to find that out real quick. So I kind of messed up a little bit, forgot to get a breaker bar, so turned around, going back to Lowe's, got to pick up one of those as well. I completely forgot about that at Walmart. 
I'm not going back to Walmart because they have everything locked up and you have to wait forever for somebody to come unlock it. It's just like a huge waste of time. And Lowe's is way closer to where I am right now. And then I can head home. I'm at Lowe's again, so I'll turn this off and I'll probably just see you guys when I get everything all set up and start actually changing the brakes. So I'll, I'll see you then. So yeah, I got back and my other phone, the one that I was previously using at the beginning when I was starting to make videos, that one I left to charge. At least I thought I left it to charge and it didn't charge at all. So I got here and went to get everything together to go start working on my car around like three o'clock and my phone wasn't charged. This phone, uh, my personal phone that like I actually use for like calls and stuff, like that one wasn't charged either. So I had to take like half an hour to charge my, my personal phone. I actually did charge that phone a little bit. So I just worked on videos in the meantime, made some food. Then I went out to go record everything about like changing my brakes and rotors. And then I don't know why I started with back tires. I started with my back passenger tire and I could not for the life of me get the caliper off. And I couldn't understand why. Uh, so after about 30, 40 minutes of like trying to get it all done, I decided to just call it a day, come inside and work on other things. And that phone died. It was only like 20% battery. I don't know when it died. It doesn't like save anything if it dies while it's recording. But nonetheless, I took, I put my car all back together, added some lube and some stuff, cleaned up some bolts and all of that, removed some rust in some places and just put that tire back on, came back in, made some more food, started working on the YouTube video that's going to come out tomorrow on December 5th. That's just the second part of getting all of like my vlog videos caught up to the present day. Outside of that, just made some dinner, um, just had leftovers from last night. I also did make sushi, like handmade sushi, made some salmon, avocado, cucumber, and crab meat for the white one, and then the one that the seaweed's on the outside. That one is just salmon, avocado, and cucumber. Had all of that, and just continue to work on this new idea. Outside of that, uh, tomorrow gonna work on my car again. I like looked up everything again, made sure that I'm like doing everything correctly. I think tomorrow will go better. I'm gonna bring out more tools. I didn't have enough tools and I didn't really feel like coming inside. So I just made do with what I had and it made it take a long time. So I got all of the tools that I need from like my toolbox. My phones will actually be charged, all of that. Outside of that, I just finished editing the video that's gonna come out tomorrow. I recorded a little bit of a video today that I'll just get to, I'll, I'll throw in there. I'll make sure that it looks good before I go out tomorrow. Today I had another vlog video go live. It was the second part to that two part, um, like nine day catch up video series, I guess, if you could call it that. I was talking with my friend on the phone. Um, I have a pretty good idea for a second YouTube channel that I think me and her are gonna do together. So really interested in starting to get that going. We should be recording stuff in a, a day or two and just kind of putting that all together. That should be really exciting. It'll be really fun to work on. It's not going to be as difficult or like research intensive as these types of videos. So I imagine that we'll be able to make a lot of content. I don't really want to say what it is just so I can see like how it naturally grows over time. And then maybe down the road, I can let you guys know what it is. It's like a completely different niche and it has absolutely nothing to do with gig work or personal stuff, anything like that. It's more along the lines of like comedy. That should be pretty cool to do. I'm really excited to get that started. So yeah, that's pretty much it for what happened outside of just like cooking food, hanging out, stuff like that. Like it's just been a lot of like working on my car, trying to figure out like why shit doesn't work with my car, why I can't get it to like do what it's supposed to do. Like it was so easy on my previous car. My, I think it was like a 2004 Hyundai Elantra. So easy to do everything. Like these newer cars, my car is a 2018. It has like all of this other stuff, technology that makes it really difficult to do everything. So yeah, I guess it's kind of a learning curve, like not to have the parking brake on. If you're gonna take off like your rear calipers, like you can't do that. And then now I know that you have to put your car into service mode, which I didn't even know was a thing. It's just a pain in the ass. It's not even worth it at this point to like try to change anything. I think that I'm just gonna use my car as it is right now because there's no point in changing the brake pads if they're like only halfway gone. 
I'm just gonna go try to return everything tomorrow. Some of the tools I wasn't ev even able to use, like the brake bar, I don't even have the right socket for it, so I can't even like use the brake bar, which is kind of good because it was like $85. And then also the torque wrench, like completely not necessary. So I'm gonna return that too. That one was like $50, $60. It would have been nice to change my brakes and everything, but it's not worth it. So instead of saving like a couple hundred dollars, instead of spending like a thousand something dollars and getting my brakes and rotors changed, I was just gonna spend the $200 to do it myself. But since I don't even need to change it, like I'm saving even more on top of that. I don't know if that's like girl math or something, but yeah, so I'm saving the thousand by doing it myself, but I don't even need to do it. So that's like another 200 something dollars saved. And then the tools that I bought is another like $200. So. I'll leave this here. I'm gonna go make some food and then I'm going to probably go back to editing some videos. I wanna to try to get a video out tomorrow or on Wednesday. So I'll try to work on that and just see if I could get something done talking about gig work tomorrow. Today, I, I guess just to start it off, I woke up super early today at like, I think four o'clock in the morning again couldn't fall back asleep until around, I think, six or seven. But I started off the day, I purchased a new planner for 2024, um, a planner like this that has like all of the different months and everything. Uh, that way I can just like plan out everything that I do every single day and my goals for like the week and the month and make sure that I'm getting all of the things done that I need to get done. Outside of that, I worked on the Banff Hotel video, like all of the different hotels in Banff that I went to because I think that that is gonna perform somewhat well for like audiences outside of like gig work and other things like that. I see that a lot of people are searching for hotel reviews for Banff, so having stayed at almost every hotel there. I, I think that it's good to like give a review of everything. So I got like the rough draft of that finished. I just finished that a few minutes ago. Outside of that, I just, I cut up some carrots and broccoli and I froze them. But when I tried to like re heat them like I steamed them and they didn't come out very good they were still very raw tasting so I boiled all of the carrots and the broccoli I refroze them so that way now when I do go to steam them they're gonna actually be fully cooked they'll probably be better I, I hope so I was gonna go back and return all of the stuff for my car but my car battery is still dead from yesterday even though I jumped it I guess I didn't leave the car on for long enough last night it's just dead today so I'll, I'll have to jump it again tonight leave it running for a while and then hopefully tomorrow I can go return everything I'm going to start editing the video that I would like to go live tomorrow a vlog type video I want to keep these like every other day so that way these are timely so that way they're only a couple days off off instead of like a week off or so. I also need to make a new gig work video and I'm thinking about possibly doing some YouTube videos. I just wanna like try to figure all of that out and get everything ready to go. So that way next week there could be a bunch of different videos on a bunch of different topics going out and that all fits into my plan perfectly. I bought the Hulu for the 99 cents a month for the whole year. I watched the new Futurama season that came out because I love Futurama and I was so excited to hear that there's a new season. So watched most of that at this point, honestly, it's pretty good. It seems just about the same as it was before, maybe just a little bit different and like slower, but yeah, it was decent, liked it. It's about four o'clock again. I don't know why I keep recording around four o'clock, but I just wanted to give a quick update because I'm about to jump into editing a video for the next couple of hours. So I might forget if I don't do it now. So today, another one of those days where I woke up around 4.30, I don't know why this keeps happening, but I decided to work on a new gig work video about Rody. So I got everything together for that so I can record that. Maybe I'll record it tomorrow. Um, I have a lot of things that are recorded. I just need to edit it. So editing seems to be the kind of bottleneck right now. I was also working on a video that I started like over a year ago and I've just like put it off about needing to see the customer for Walmart Spark for the terms and conditions. They changed stuff so it kind of screwed with the video that I was creating but I did find an older copy of the terms and conditions. So that'll be a pretty interesting video to see how like the terms and conditions have changed. And also like you can't find their terms and conditions anywhere on their website, which is really weird. I also looked into getting a new laptop case to protect it when it's like in my backpack because the one that I have, it doesn't fit my computer. It was like for the smaller like 13 inch or 14 inch MacBooks and I have a 16 inch now. I have to buy a new one. So I think I found the one that I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna order that maybe tomorrow. Also, I have a 
dash cam that arrived from Walmart. So why don't I just open that up now? can't open it. <laughs> I figured if I'm going to be driving around a lot that I should probably get a dash cam. This one was only $25. Really excited for it. Here's a nice first look at it. It's a 1080p dash cam. Motion detection, loop recording, wide dynamic range, and a G sensor protection. Don't know what the hell that means. It's um, iZeeker. I'll put the link down in the description below for the same one that I got. That way, if you do need one, you could totally get the same one. I'll give a little update on it once I drive around with it a little bit and see how it works. So here it is, nice and small, and it's got, it looks like a screen on the back. Yeah, it's got a screen on the back. Should I do it now? All right, there we go. Now you can see this, it's all in focus. So let's go and satisfying and then there's one on the front as well oh yeah so there she is in all of the glory let's take a look at what else came in the box um so a charging cable a mount thingy This might be to get the data off of it, although I'm not sure why you would need that. Um, there's also this, which I don't know what that is yet. And then a SIM card removal kit. So, interesting. I don't know, I'll have to go get that all set up and throw that into my car, get that going, because I see a lot of crazy stuff and I don't know, I'd like to like make videos of it, it would be so great. I see a lot of crazy stuff every time that I drive, so I think that it would be worth it to be able to record everything and do something with it. I also updated my buy me a coffee link. I realized the one that I, I have currently, it charges a fee every time somebody gives a donation. The new one that I have, it doesn't charge any fee like that. I also worked on a third video today. I got that one almost done and that one's about gig work as well. So I think after this, I'm gonna start working on more videos about like YouTube content creation, things like that. I went out earlier today. My car actually turned on. My, my battery was dead the other day and I jumped it and I don't think I left it running for long enough. So when I went out and turned it back on yesterday, it was completely dead again. So I jumped it again last night, rode it around for like 20-ish minutes and today it actually worked. I went and returned everything for like my brakes, um, good to go and deliver stuff. Final thing is I use like a planner like this, 2023 planner. It has like goals and stuff. I didn't fill this out for some reason, but like write down everything that I do every single day. I need to like really get into using it because, oh man, let's see when the last time I actually used this was. It looks like the last time I used this was March 16th. So I used this for a solid three months and then just completely forgot about it. Oh man, I only used it for like a month. So dumb. Well, maybe I can repurpose some of the papers inside of it or something for other things because it does say things like this week's goals, this month's goals. I just got a new one for 2024. So 2024 planner. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice and blue. So this one's actually 15 months and it's a softer cover. So it'll be interesting to see how it holds up. It's kind of like leather, I guess, kind of, and then like paper. Oh, the pages are so much thinner. But this one has like a yearly schedule with every single day, a habit tracker for every single month. It has like this month's goals, monthly summary. So at the end of the month, I can write down everything that happened, what went good, what didn't go well. And then it just has like this week's plans priorities, things to do every single day. I can note down everything that I do. Oh, the end is just a bunch of note pages. So just like blank, blank note pages. Oh yeah, this is probably not gonna hold up too well. Just from this little stringy thingy sitting there, it's already bent it like that. So 
not going to be too hopeful for this, but I mean, it'll do. Or maybe I should order a new one. I don't really want to return it. It seems like such a waste of like gas and stuff to return it. Like, what's the point? I thought it came with stickers. Oh yeah, it does have stickers. Yay. Memo stickers, uh, like tabby stickers. Those kind of stickers. So that's cute. Oh, it's got a folder back here. Nice. I'll put this down in the description below if you want something similar to it. I know that this one I got from Walmart last year. It's uh, the Walmart brand pen and gear. Because I like this one better. Like all of these monthly tabs like that. That's like super nice. I like that. The only thing that, that this one doesn't have is like this, this thing. And then also it's got some of these. So you can like mark where you're at. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe this one will be better. It's, it's actually quite a bit lighter. I just know I'm not gonna like that. It's gonna get bent up and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the updates for the day. Thanks for listening. Talk with you again tomorrow.